Hey hockey player, in this video I'm going to be running you through a brand new workout from our off-season domination 2020 program. This workout is taken from phase one where the primary goal is to have bulletproof structure. Look, if you want to maximize your entire off-season, you need to prioritize structural balance in the very beginning of the off-season. Balance in the body equals balanced movement, and balanced movement means maximum efficiency both on and off the ice. So in all your dry land training work, you're going to be moving to your potential, and that is going to express itself to you becoming a brand new hockey player next year. Let's get into it. Okay, to kick this workout off, we are going to be doing a superset between dumbbell Russian step ups and standing one arm cable press. Now, don't worry at all about the sets, reps, or rest periods because that's all found in the description below. I want to use this time I have with you more so to point out the importance of these exercises for hockey players. Now, if you're looking at Kevin performing this dumbbell Russian step up right now, he's doing it perfectly. He's got a stepper that's about knee height or just below knee height. He's keeping his posture throughout the whole movement and he's driving through with the knee at the top of the movement. That's exactly how you perform this exercise. And it's particularly important for hockey players in the early phases of the off season because it helps correct structural imbalances within the quadriceps, but it also helps break up adhesions that would otherwise cause mobility limitations within the ankles and the hips. All stuff that's very important to create a balanced body and to prevent any kind of injury risk moving forward in the off season. Moving into the second exercise of this superset is the standing one arm cable press. Now, if you notice, with the Russian step up, we're only training one side of the body at a time. And with the standing one arm cable press, we're also only training one side of the body at a time. And that's because in the early phases of the off season, I really like to create balance, not just from the upper body to the lower body, but from the left side of the body to the right side of the body. Hockey is a unilateral sport. You're either right-handed or left-handed. So you're always accelerating and decelerating on one side of your body, which creates strength imbalances, which lead you to being at an increased risk for injuries. We correct all that right right away in the off season. You see Kevin here is performing this exercise the way it should be performed. You're in a staggered stance. You've got a tight core. You're making sure your shoulders and your pelvis are pointed forward the entire way and that you're not rotating with the cable and you're pressing directly in front of you. This helps stabilize the core create balance within the core, but also balance within the upper body musculature of your body. Moving into the beginning of our next superset, we're going to be doing barbell Romanian deadlifts with wide pronated grip pull-ups. Now, Kevin's performing the barbell Romanian deadlift right now, and I want you to have a look at his toes. They're pointed straight forward, and that's because we don't want to replicate the toes pointing slightly outwards like you would see out in the ice. When you're skating, you're pressing down and laterally and backwards to propel yourself forward, but that creates structural imbalances within the hamstrings. Particularly, you're going to have weak semitendinosus and semimembranosus hamstring muscles, but an overdeveloped and strong biceps femoris muscle within the hamstring. By correcting the toes and keeping them forward in this hamstring focused movement, we're able to create more balance in the hamstrings, which is very important because they're hip extensors involved in explosive speed out in the ice, but they're also knee stabilizers. So they help you prevent injury risk with your dry land work or with your on ice practices and games as well. Make sure you keep a good posture all the way down. Feel that stretch in the hamstrings. Allow your pelvis to lean back almost as if you were sitting on a chair and really just extend forward with this movement. Moving into the second exercise of the second superset in this workout, we got that wide pronated grip pull up. This is my favorite exercise in the entire game for improving hockey athletes shot power. When you're looking at the biomechanics of shot power and you want to improve it, you need to make gains in grip strength, rotator cuff strength, and lat strength. 
The wide pronated grip pull-up checks all three of those boxes. So this exercise right here helps improve your wrist shot power, your snapshot power, and your slap shot power all in one. It's my absolute favorite bang for the buck exercise, not to mention it also creates a strong posterior side of the body, which is really going to help prevent injury and give you a better posture throughout athletic movement as well. With this exercise, you don't want to be swinging up. You don't want to be using any momentum. You notice Kevin is slowly bringing his body up and slowly bringing it back down, taking momentum out of the game and only training the muscles and movement. That's how you get the most out of this exercise. And when you get the most out of an, out of an exercise, you get the best translation to an on-ice setting. Moving into the final superset of the workout, we're going to be doing dumbbell Cuban presses supersetted with prowler pushes. Now, the dumbbell Cuban press is an excellent shoulder exercise for hockey players in the early phases of the offseason, particularly because of that external rotation you see Kevin doing in the middle of the movement. You can see this movement kind of like a dumbbell upright row to external rotation to dumbbell overhead press. It's all of that in one, but you don't want to use momentum and really just launch the dumbbells upwards. Notice he's controlling it the entire way through. It's a slow tempo it's a controlled movement and that's because that external rotation is very important to not just breeze through hockey athletes are in what's known as shoulder flexion for pretty much six to eight months of the year throughout the end season that shoulder flexion causes a rounded shoulder effect in the upper body which causes tight anterior shoulders and pec muscles but loose and weak upper back muscles and weak rotator cuff muscles this over time increases your risk for injury but it also just decreases your hockey performance this exercise all in one trains the delts and the external rotators which are both imbalanced in hockey players and need to be corrected right away the second exercise in this superset is the prowler push. Now, a lot of you may not have access to a prowler, and that's okay because you can substitute this with just a stationary bike and add in some resistance to that bike to making it a lot harder on you. If you got a prowler or a bike, it's the same thing. I want you to do 20 seconds of nonstop as hard as you can going for it. This is how I really like to start introducing anaerobic conditioning into the early phases of the off-season. Now, if you know your off-season periodization appropriately for hockey players, in the early phases, you do want to focus on an aerobic base and not an anaerobic base. That will be introduced later on down the road, perhaps phases four, five, and six, in order to really create a hockey-specific effect at the end of the offseason. But I like to do some anaerobic work in the early phases just because hockey is an anaerobic sport. So we keep a minimal amount in. We get maximum fat loss with a movement like this. And then when it's time to ramp things up to really take your skating to the next level we will be ready for it more than any other hockey player will thanks for watching our hockey training video if you want to improve your all-round hockey performance by having the best off-season of your life then you've got to check out the brand new off-season domination program it's what's going to take your performance to an elite level and you're going to dominate out in the ice Click on the link in the description below to check out the brand new program. And hey, if you found this video helpful and you want us to keep posting more off-season workouts, smash that thumbs up button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to click on the link in the comments section below to download your free explosive speed package.